well here we go my solar panel experiment and we'll we'll just go through the basics of it basically what i've done i've just used some old angle bracket to be able to mount the, the solar panel onto the onto the wall and I've just altered the angle because the, the previous angle that I had and I'll show you on the on the photograph it really wasn't a, a good angle and I get more wattage because I've altered the, the angle like I said I've put it against the wall on here because we have a south facing wall on our house so therefore all of that wall gets the sunlight and it warms the bedroom up so rather than putting it on the roof because we only rent this house we decided to be able to put it on the wall because the the shadow of the roof comes down to about that level so this hides a big section of the of the wall and it stops the sun directly onto the wall so therefore it, it saves energy as well so basically what i did because we rent this house i didn't want to put any holes in the wall and i managed to do it without doing any holes in the wall but i've just used existing brackets such as the air conditioning bracket to be able to fasten everything to the wall and make sure everything's secure and this is my combination box so everything to do with the solar panel its workings the fuse board everything is in there so at the minute it's working off this ac socket and i'm going to renew the, the cable going up to the fuse board and that's going to run along here eventually where this black cable is the extension lead and then it's going to plug into the wall socket like that so i don't want any cables or any holes drilling through the, the lady's house that we're renting off her so otherwise she i don't think she'd be very happy so everything's secured on the bracket again using old angle line that i had so the combination box and this is everything within that box the inverter the fuse board for the dc ac the socket and all so as you can see looks pretty smart in there pretty neat i've got an extra fan at the bottom i'll go through why i put an extra fan in the bottom and there's the meter that tells you everything that it is doing at present 25 watts 2450 uh, 24,150 watts that's what it's made since its operation so basically the cables come from the solar panel goes through a, a junction box and it goes through the conduit so all the cables are protected comes up through here to a main isolator this is the dc isolator so it isolates any power coming from the solar panel then it goes up the fuse board and it goes through the goes through the dc circuits of it and i'll i'll go through the board in a minute then it comes back out down this this piece comes along and it connects to the to the bottom of the inverter and at the top of the inverter that's the ac and that plugs into the socket and this one here that cable goes down to this extra fan that i've put in so basically that's the setup of the of the board and the um solar panel but also to add extra what we've done i've earthed everything so the board is earthed the solar panel is earthed and we go down to an earth rod in the ground and there's going to be some covering over there to protect that from getting knocked and or damaged so as you can see everything is secure and safe and that's my solar panel and what i'm going to do is go through a little bit more detail with regard to the fuse board and um because that'll that'll be another video that'll take a little bit longer so otherwise it'll make this video a long video and that's my solar panel and it's barred and all the work that i've done into it as i say i hate to see cables dangling all over the place so i, I think it's pretty smart inside and everything's taken care of so watch my other video and i'll explain exactly what the fuse board is all about and what it does so from les 
living the dream in Thailand. Until the next video, bye for now.